Here's part two of our conversation with the great Steve Hackett. Steve Hackett's brand new album is Surrender of Silence. Go to hackettsongs.com for information on it and the tour. He's doing a Seconds Out tour. Remember that famous live album from Genesis? Here's part one of our conversation with Steve Hackett. Uh, Joey Bruno, Music Archives, asks, what uh, does Steve think about the popularity of guitar tapping techniques? I know you've gotten this one many times. Popularized by players like Eddie Van Halen, that he was literally the first player to create back in 1972. Does he feel he doesn't get the credit he deserves for creating that style of playing? Well, I was using it in 71. I was doing that. And, and um, I think it's a matter of public record now that, um, that I was doing that in 1971. I have no idea if I was the first to do it or if um, there may have been a, a guy in 1872 who was doing the same thing for all we know. We will never know. The, the origins of, of music are, and techniques are obscure in the extreme. The Rocknative, some of these names are very different. Some technique uh, guitar questions for Steve. Because he is known for faster fretwork, faster fingering, and because he runs with shorter notes, what gauge of strings does he like to use? I use a standard 008 set. I use light gauge strings uh, to play. That's my, that's my preference. Um, I like to have as little string resistance as possible so that when I bend and duck and dive and do runs, um, uh, I'm, I'm, the, the guitar isn't, 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 isn't fighting me. So I like to dance lightly over those strings. I was watching the news last night, as I usually do, and, and uh, uh, the UN warning came up about, you know, climate, the climate change and how, uh, you know, there's not a lot of time here. And we've heard the yeah. message before, but this was an alarming message last night. Yes. And, yes. and I went and I went, wait a minute, there's a song on his note. And I went, and I, that's, the, that's the first song I listened to last night. And then I listened to, like I said, the whole thing today. It's uh, very timely. It's funny how that turned out. Yes, it's, it is funny, isn't it? In fact, um, we've either done videos or in the process of saying to people yeah go ahead and do a video for us and scorched earth came up uh, a friend of ours a filmmaker friend was staying over with us yesterday and um we said you know how do you feel about doing a, a video of of this one um we were thinking of something fairly basic with this and he said he liked the subject matter so he would he would think of doing it anyway because he, he and says it would be such an important subject at the moment. Um, I've tried to make the album as entertaining as possible. Um, there are, yeah, there's social comment, there's various things. Some of them are just feel good songs. Some of them are just bits of fun. Um, Day of the Dead is fun in a, in a kind of black humor kind of way, uh, but um, it's part travelogue, it's part comedy, it's part classical, it's part, bits of jazz, it's part heavy metal, um, all of these things. It's, it, um, it's a lot of things, a lot of serendipity. The Obliterati. Yes. Yeah, uh, tell me about that, that song. Okay. Well, first of all, we did Natalia, um, which I was really proud of, loved it. You know, the, the, um, we visited Russia. It became a song, um, consciously referring to um, different classical composers, Russian composers, Prokofiev, Tchaikovsky, Stravinsky. Let's put it all together um, so that people will, will, will recognize its roots. Natalia is a kind of every woman. Um, she dies at the end of each verse. It's a little bit like Kenny in, in South Park, you know. Well, wait a minute, um, that's, not about, that's not about the Siberian uh, uh, Ice but, Maiden? Is that, uh, that's not about the what, Siberian Ice Maiden, the Natalia? No. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope. nothing to do with Siberian ice maidens. No, nope. um, uh, the obliterati was basically a variation on that tune because I realized that it was ages before any any um, rock guitar came in. So we did the obliterati as a kind of miniature overture or underture to preempt all of this. And so some of the themes that come up later in the album are already stated briefly in the obliterati. Then it segues into Natalia. So really they are kind of the same tune with with uh, certain things being revisited so it's two tracks visiting each other um uh, natalia it's it's really a kind of 
the idea of, of, of a Russian every woman, they're always suppressed. She never really gets to live her dreams. Um, she always dies from hunger, violence, whatever. Pretty much like Russia today. Surrender of Silence is the brand new album from Steve Hackett. Go to hackettsongs.com for information on that. It's a great record. And information on the new tour, which is called Seconds Out, which is named after, of course, the double live album from Genesis. He was still in the band back then. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. And buy a t-shirt. Help support our channel. There's all kinds of different designs for all of our channels. Check them out. Link in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.